Do you also speak like that? There are many ways to ditch, he said, and, she said, in your speaking. Level up your English with vocab man. Speak with confidence, write like a pro, and read like a champ. Fun lessons for all levels, from daily chat to college and careers. Subscribe and let's learn. Here are some creative options to ditch, he said, and, she said, in your speaking. Let actions speak. Use body language and facial expressions to show who's talking. A raised eyebrow, a sigh, or a wave of the hand can all show who said what. Example. Sarah narrowed her eyes. Really? This implies Sarah is speaking. Strong dialogue. If the dialogue itself makes it clear who's speaking, you might not need a tag at all. This works well for short exchanges between two characters. Example. Where'd you learn to do that? Boomed the giant. Years of practice. Chirped the mouse. Descriptive verbs. Replace, said with stronger verbs that show how something is said. This adds personality and emphasis to your speech. Example, he shouted, get out. She whispered, it's a secret. Character names. If you only have two characters talking, sprinkle their names throughout the conversation for clarity, especially when changing speakers. Example, pizza? Daniel asked. Definitely, replied Emily. Interjections. Use short words or phrases to show how something is said. This can be helpful for conveying emotions or interruptions. Example, that's crazy, she exclaimed. Wait, he interjected, let me explain. Bonus tip. Singular they. This is becoming increasingly common for referring to someone when their gender is unknown or non-binary. Example, the delivery person left the package at the door. They didn't ring the bell. Remember. The best way to choose an alternative depends on the situation and the effect you want to achieve. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on improving your English skills. See you soon.